I want to talk about sin flood attacks as a means of denial of service. But before we can talk about that, we have to touch on the mechanics of the TCP three-way handshake first. So let's take a scenario where we've got two machines making a connection. Machine one, in this case it's going to be the attacker, and machine two, which in this case will be the victim. Now within the TCP protocol, there's an initial handshake between these machines. And what happens in that handshake is that the first machine sends a synchronized request, often referred to as SYN. The second machine then acknowledges that by sending a synchronized acknowledgement response. You usually see that referred to as SYNAC. Now all going well, the first machine will then come back and send an acknowledgement, an ACK response. And this is the three-way handshake. They've now established a connection together. This is pretty much TCP 101. It's the fundamentals of how the protocol works. Let's move on though and see how this can be exploited in a SYN flood attack. So we'll start the same way. Machine 1 is sending the SYN. Machine 2 is sending the SYN ACK. And then nothing. It just waits and waits. And nothing actually happens. Machine 2, the target, is sitting there waiting for a response from Machine 1. But it never gets a response. Machine 2 doesn't know if it's just network latency. It could just take a while for that response to come back. Now the problem with this is that the connection on that target machine is left open until it decides that there's never going to be a response and moves on. But within that time, the first machine may be sending multiple other synchronized requests to the target. So the whole thing perpetuates the volume actually makes the situation worse and worse. This is another volumetric attack. It's just at the layer 4. So that's the fundamentals of a SYN flood attack. But it can also be ramped up a bit. Let's look at it this way. We have machine 1 which sends the SYN but also spoofs the source IP address. Now what that means is that the target machine is now going to send its SYNAC back to a totally different machine. So now we've got the target machine also targeting another machine, which is the one whose IP address was spoofed in the original SYN request. Now one reason the attacker may do this is to give them obfuscation, to create a degree of anonymity as to where the attack is actually originating from. All of this, again, is at layer 4. Let's now move on and have a look at a couple of other layer 4 attacks, and specifically layer 4 attacks using UDP and ICMP.